have uh, three, a two variable inequality, which is a plus two b plus two over <laughs> a plus one b. Plus, okay, uh, whatever. It's nothing. With I guess equality case when a equals b equals one. Is this gonna be something where like a equals two and b equals half is also equality? There's no way, right? Okay, um, so I believe that a plus b, 2b plus 2 over a plus 1 is at least what, uh, b plus 2 root ab plus 2 over a plus 1 by amgm. So, which this is at least b plus 1 plus 2 over a plus 1. And similarly for the other one. So now, b plus 1 plus 2 over a plus 1 times a plus 1 plus 2 over b plus 1. Uh, if I rearrange the terms... Shoot, I think if I try to apply Kochi now, uh, it doesn't preserve the equality case, right? Ah, oh, sad. Uh, oh shoot, it's b plus 2! No! b plus 2. Uh, oh, that's, that's actually worse. No, that's better! Okay, b plus 2, so uh, 2 over a plus 1 plus 1, and then here I'll write, uh, is that better? I have no idea. It's a plus 1 plus 1. Uh, is that better? I can't tell. Duh, 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 duh. The problem is that a plus 1 is like... I kind of need it twice or something. Yeah, because I want a 16, so I want to... Actually... Here's a thought. What if I just expand? <laughs> but x equals a plus 1 and y equals b plus 1? Then what I want is y plus 2 over x plus 1 times 2 over x plus y plus 1 to be greater than or 16. And that should be okay, right? Uh, so... This is what? Yeah, because you, you get a bunch of symmetric stuff and then AMGM should just wipe everything out. So you get... Uh, well actually the fact that the things are mixed is a little bad. Uh, 2 over y plus x plus 1. Okay, well, well let's give it a shot. 4 over xy plus xy. Uh, actually, this might not work. <laughs> plus, like, some constants. Uh, okay, so what's the x over y coefficient? Um, it's like 4x over y. Is it just okay? I'm confused now. What is going on? 4 over xy plus xy plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus... Alright, there should be an x term, right? Okay, there. Um... So if I if I'm not clowning, this is four over x y plus x y plus x plus y plus two over x plus two over y. Amazing. <laughs> this is so not going to work. Uh, okay, so this is one over x y times four plus x y plus two times one over x plus two times one over y.
Thank you, X Cohen, for the follow. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first use AMGM to get rid of a bunch of the things. So by AMGM, this is at least, um, if I apply AMGM, this is at least 11 plus three times one over XY plus, oh shoot, that flips the inequality, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't be that dumb. I feel like it's still true even written this way. Um, right, because four over XY is, is it that big? What if like x equals like x equals y equals two? Is it sharp when yeah or x equals y is two is the equality case? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have this condition x y or at least one. What if like x equals y equals three? Is it still true? Yeah, it's still way bigger. This is four over x y plus x one over x y plus x y is really large. Like even though the AMG says it's at least two, I'm pretty sure it's bigger than that. Um, I don't know. The problem is that after I do this, you'll get like 11 plus 3 over xy plus 1 over x plus 1 over y. And you can't promise that those things are big enough. So I need some better estimate. How long has Evan been at this? Like five minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this AMGM thing doesn't work. Oh crap. But this has to be true. Like there's no way this is doesn't go through, right? Is there? If if I look at x equals y equals like slightly more than two, actually this might be false. I might have backed myself into a corner. Um this might be false. If x equals y is like 2 plus epsilon, do I die? I think I die. Shoot, this is false. If I let x and y be slightly more than 2, this doesn't work. Okay! <laughs> It really isn't true? I don't think it's true. No, wait, 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 wait. No, it's still... Hang on. 2 plus epsilon, 2 minus... 2 plus... If x and y are 2 plus epsilon and 2... Oh, okay, I'm confused now. Is this not true? Maybe it's... I have no idea anymore. What is anything? Oh, oh, sorry, I'm... Ah, ah. I'm bad. Alright, claim. If k is at least 4, then k, 4 over... k plus 4 over k is at least 4. Uh, sorry, at least 5. Uh, second claim. If k at least 2... Then k plus 2 over k is at least 3. Right. I don't need this to be true for all x and y. I only need it to be true for things that are the way that I want them. Okay! Okay, I'm stupid. Here we go. Doesn't Kochi and AMGM work? What do you have in mind?
A plus B plus B plus 2 over A plus 1. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's very smart. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Uh, no, wait, you can't just do straight. You, you want to do Kochi on that? I guess that's probably. I don't know. I think he's just like so bad. <laughs> so honestly, I did, did I even need to do the XY substitution? I don't think so. I feel like the expansion isn't actually any easier. Well, I guess you want the plus ones. Isn't the claim? This claim is trivial by taking a derivative. If that's how you're proving this claim, okay. <laughs> you can also just like clearly denominator like a normal person because the denominator is a monomial of degree one. Uh. Alright, we did it. Why are X and Y at least two? Because A and B are at least... Wait, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry, I screwed up. For some reason I thought I had X, Y at least two. Uh, never mind. Alright, uh... Oh crap. Okay, so the first one is fine. K at least, that one is still okay. Um... For the other one, I probably want to AMGM some stuff together, right? Uh... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Should be okay now. <laughs> Good catch. to do that. What did I just do? For any t at least 4, we have t plus 4 over t at least 5. 